Alrighty, we would like to welcome everybody back to practicallyandroid.com where we go through practical and beneficial ways to use your Android in everyday life. So today's Wednesday Basics and I'm going to show you some really basic text editing you can do with your phone um, while you're texting or sending a quick email. Um, it's really pretty useful. Um, now, the, actually the first thing I want to show you is, is really how you can check what kind of what version of Android you have because some of the things that I, I'm I'm, I'm going to show today you might not have access to um, and so but that's really easy basically you you just tap menu and then settings and then scroll all the way to the bottom to about phone and you're looking for Android version so I'm running 2.3 if you're running like um, 2.1 or 2.2 you'll probably still be okay if you're running 2.0 or older it might be kind of slim pickings which is bad news the good news is if you're running 2.0 or, or older, like 1.6 or something, then you're probably pretty darn close to being done with that contract and you can get a really cool phone. Um, okay, so with that said, I'm just going to open up... Uh, see, I was, I was doing a little bit of testing here earlier. Um, I'm going to open up a, an email and I'm just going to start texting away. So I'm going to type the practically... Android fans are the coolest ever. Okay, so the first thing is uh, there's there's two really ways that you can edit text. The first one is to long hold, and the second one is to double tap. Okay, so when you when you long hold. It's going to give you a couple different options. Select one word, select all the words, or copy all the words, or paste something you've copied. Okay. Um, now I'll show you something kind of cool here. So let's say, oh, actually, let's say I typed. Uh, um, I'm trying to think of. Uh, let's say I'm going to write cool, but I wrote it cool like that because maybe I don't know how to type or whatever. If I long hold it on there, one of the other options that it will give me, if it doesn't recognize the word, is on the bottom here it will say add this to the dictionary. So that's another cool thing that you can do as you're typing away. I like to be very expressive when I, when I text or write on my phone. So like I'll do things like um, woohoo, oops, woo boo, woohoo. So things like that, and I can just add that to the dictionary just like that, which is pretty cool. All right, the second thing is double tap. So if I double tap on this word, it'll say, actually, let's let's do a better example. So let's say I do uh, show, showing, and, and I wrote it like this, even though it's supposed to be showing with a W, right? But let's say I was typing really fast and I forgot. Well, you can just double tap, you know, instead of like deleting the word and then typing it in wrong, apparently, as I'm typing it in wrong, um, one thing you can do is showing. If you double tap it, it gives you other options. Boom. Now, if you notice those little arrows, that's the third thing I'll show you. When you double tap on something, you get two arrows on the side. Well, if you grab them, you can move them around to highlight specific parts of the text that you want to highlight. So that's pretty cool. You can then, if you just tap once on, on the highlighted part, then it gives you these different options as well. So let's say I want to just copy all of it. And I'm going to paste it up here. Okay, now the, the fourth thing I'll show you here is, let's say I've, I've pasted all this up here. Um, when I first got my Android, I was really confused about how I could scroll to see more text beyond what the window allows me to see. Because there's no arrows, you know, I was used to, I came um, from a, what we call a, um, a feature phone, you know, they just had keys and stuff. I think it was an LG Envy actually. Um, and so this was really confusing to me, but if you, basically what you do is you just like put touch and drag. So I'm going to touch culture and drag to the right, and so I can see more of the screen. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully that helps you out when you're editing 
and things like that. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, just some quick little tips as you're editing, uh, either texting or emailing or whatnot. Um, so you can just be a pro and just love your Android that much more. Because if you're frustrated with things, it can be easy not to not to dig your Android as much as I do. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for you guys. That's it for today, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to send an email to staff at practicallyandroid.com. Or you can send a voicemail to that voicemail we set up yesterday. 385-200-01. I can't even remember what it is. Let me check. Um, oops, not send feedback. All right, so it's 385-200-0140, or you can go to practicallyandroid.com, and on the top right-hand corner of the page is a link that says Android Questions. Um, and actually, a note on the voicemail, I think someone called me today, and I just picked up, just because I have it forwarded to my regular line, and then they just hung up. It was someone in Kentucky, so if that was you... Um, sorry, go ahead and call and I'll make sure I, uh, I'll let you leave a voicemail. But that's it. And remember, for a more practical life, practicallyandroid.com. Take care, y'all.